They are a group of caped crusaders who patrol the streets of Salt Lake City. They pledge to fight crime and keep the streets safe. Unlike Spider-Man and Batman, these superheroes have no superpowers. But they are real. Fox 13's Kerry Kronk has more. These real-life superheroes have names like Asylum, Fool King, and Professor Midnight. Some are suburban dads by day and crime fighters by night. They hide their identities behind elaborate masks and costumes. And while some say they're vigilantes with their own form of street justice, they say they're crucial to police. They're part of a superhero posse called the Black Monday Society, led by a man who calls himself Insignus. This is Omen. He's one of our soldiers. We met Salt Lake's real-life superheroes at the main library. Ghost is better than bringing a gun on patrol. He's our wall. He's the one that will pick you up and toss you about if you need it. They're not exactly bright spandex-wearing type of guys. We'll have kids like yell at us, be angry, pull up in their car. We just stop, walk towards them, and they just leave. No clean-cut boy wonders here. In fact, some used to be bad guys who did bad things, like asylum. I was the guy that would come and collect if, you know, you got so much in drugs and didn't pay your money. I was the dude that showed up at 3 in the morning and beat you until you got the money. And Fool King. Ex-gang member. Creepy <laughs> jester. <laughs> Basically, it was a do-or-die type thing. Uh, you get in, you're in for life. This is retribution. This is him giving back to the community that he took from. And he'll do it in his way, in his style. A little bit of their past worn on their chest. Red voltage, charisma, dashing. <laughs> I think he's in this for pure thrills and the love of justice. Inspired by movie superheroes. Thought to myself, hey, you really could. You could put on a mask and really, if you wanted to help people, you could. It's dangerous business, but you could pull it off. And there's Lunar Wolf, based upon the ancient Egyptian god. Professor Midnight. A true enigma, an absolute mystery, guarding his identity and protecting the public. Totally mysterious. Honestly, I don't know his real name. He actually really is a complete seeker identity. You guys want to do, how many groups do you want to do since there's eight of us? You want to do, break it up into threes? They are walking symbols, self-proclaimed crime fighters and good Samaritans patrolling the streets of Salt Lake City. But no, no, we're not to actually kill anybody. Good God, no, we're not vigilantes. We're, uh, we're heroes. We're here to help. Even on a rainy night, heads turn. We dress like this for deterrent. This is, you know, shock factor, scare tactics. And people stare. You always get the happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Good evening. Have a good night, everyone. Just a couple of costume superheroes walking by, but we don't care. We're going to go clubbing. <laughs> that was them over there. That was awesome. Different is easy to spot. If someone was hurt, you'd have to yell to get their attention, right? We don't have to yell at all. We're screaming right now just by walking. Good to have people like you in Salt Lake. Well, they certainly get a lot of attention and sometimes unwanted. What police think of these superheroes and the surprising responses from those who come in contact with them. Witness their crime-fighting skills in action coming up later in the show.